Hello everyone and welcome to Family for Our Crafts. Today I'm going to do a comparison between the Cricut Air, the Cricut Explore Air 2 and then the Cricut Maker that I literally just got today. Um, my very first machine was the Cricut Explore Air 2 and of course at the beginning I was kind of against it but I actually really do enjoy it and I also do my embroidery but this is like so quick so easy and a lot you can do. You'd be surprised what you can do with this. But I figured I would go ahead and do a comparison between them both. Um, and whatnot. So we are going to go ahead and get started. As you can try and see, I have the machines back to side by side pretty much. And whatnot. And they're a little bit different between each other. How they open and everything. Um, I think the Cricut Explore Air is a smidgely wider than the Maker. But it's probably because of how it kind of opens up too and everything. So that's how I'm actually going to try and do right now is actually open these little bad boys up. So with the Cricut Explore Air 2, there's the button up here. Actually it's over here. That says open. So we just hit that button and it just kind of pops open just like so. With the Make It, it's actually a little different. You actually have to pull this open and the bottom part comes down as you can tell as well. Of course, they both still have the power buttons and the feeding and the little Cricut icon with the pause button and the storage as well. But the differences are is that with the Cricut Explorer, it does have the little storage here, as you can see, but it also has a slot for the cartridges. And then, of course, you can see the open button, the little where you can put your pen and then your blades. And then the knob is also another different thing. This is actually the there we go. This is actually the setting that you use for whatever you're going to be cutting from and with. And of course the power button. So this is like a little bit of difference between with the air and then these three are the same as well with the uh, maker. And it does have a storage bin. Um as you can see I have some of my stuff in here. And then this too I don't know what that really is for but I never really used it. So with the maker, um, again, has the storages, but there's no cartridge slot at all. These are, and uh, another thing too is that it comes with different blades. And I'll get that here in a few minutes. But again, you know, same thing has the, for the pen, the blade, and then of course instead of the knob, as you can see, it does not have the knob. It does have the power button and all little parts of feed it and whatnot. But there's no knob for the setting. And then, of course, your storage bins, which are a little bit different as well. Um, so, with the Maker, though, is that it does have settings. It's just when you hook it up to your computer and you get going on a, um, a, on a design, it actually will pop up with, like, the options that you need. And there's another thing, too, the Maker has that the Explorer doesn't. It has a little slot where you can put like your tablet or phone or whatever you're using. I'm mostly going to be using my um, my laptop. So with the Maker, it does, like I mentioned earlier, it does come with different blades. This one is a rotator, uh, a rotator blade. So basically it cuts the fabric, and I'll get that out here in a minute. And then of course the um, knife blade, which is also the same thing as the deep blade that the Explorer uses. So with these blades, let's see if I can get this one out. So this is a rotating blade, as you can see, it's just like a little wheel, but it cuts the fabric. I thought this little plastic part comes off, but it doesn't. It actually goes in here, which, let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, okay. So if you can kind of see back here. And that's another thing that, too, that opens up differently. But you see that little wheel looking thing? That is what this connects to and actually moves it. It's actually kind of cool. So that's another thing about this too that the Explorer does. Oops. There we go. Is that one has all this, too, this opens up differently than what the make the Explorer does. So this is the Maker, I'm sorry. So the Maker opens differently than the Explorer. See, when you turn open this, it just, you know, kind of pops out, and then you can just pop it out. 
so it's not really that hard. And look, so I don't have all the blades yet for my maker. And like I said, I literally just got this. But differences between the blades. Back it up. There we go. Is that, again, this is the Explore. It has that wheel going and whatnot in the blade. And then, of course, with the, this is the Maker, as you can see. And then, of course, the Explore, which, this just gets pushed down. And then, of course, it ejects the uh, blade. But you can see it's a little bit more different. Same kind of housing in a way, just different. Um, it still uses the same tools and pretty much the same blades, pretty much. It's just, it's a bit different. Um, I have yet to really mess with my maker because, again, I just got it. But I do love the Cricut. Other than that, I really don't see much difference in these two machines, really, to be honest with you. Um, to me, is that they pretty much do the same thing, pretty much. The only di mostly difference is how they open, the storage is a little bit different, how to insert the blades and whatnot. Actually, I wonder if the pen's different too. Nope. So the pen's different on the same, both machines. Um, um, of course, the maker doesn't have the dial, the little knob, to, set, to switch the settings on. And again, it does open a little bit differently as well. But again, it still uses the same, pretty much mostly the same tools. It's just the maker has more of the upgraded tools and has a little bit more tools than the Explore. Um, and that though, I mean, if you're a beginner, I would probably go with the Explore and then save up your money and gain up to the maker. Or if you really feel that ambitious, go for the maker. I mean... With me, I had my Explorer for about almost a year now, and I'm actually going to be, and I actually did a really enjoy it. I really did love my Explorer. It just, now with me, it's like I want to kind of get more into other things and other areas. Not that the Explorer couldn't do it. I just felt like the Maker could probably do it a bit better, especially with the um, rotator blade, which cuts the fabric, which is like perfect because I don't mind cutting my own fabric, but again... You know, it's nice for something else to be able to do that. But as in, as you can see, so, and of course these all do come in different colors. So, and, but as you can kind of see too, it's just, and, you know, the maker has a little bit more uniqueness to it. And it's a little bit more as well. And also another thing too is that this gets a little bit more covered compared to the Explore. But on that though, I mean, all in all, they're both great machines. I have really no issues with them. It's just the different little materials out of it. So I hope this tutorial helps. I'm sorry it's a little bit short. And I'm sorry I don't have all the tools and everything yet. But I will get there. Um, so please subscribe. And so you can keep up with my crafties. My craft creations that I do make. And probably from now on my creations will probably be pretty much made from my Cricut Maker. So... Please leave comments, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.